How does he operate? Kills people. The description of Andrew Philip Cunanan is simple and frightening. But who is this man, now the focus of a nationwide manhunt, wanted not only for the murder of Johnny Versace, but also for his involvement in a three-month-long murder spree? Cunanan is known to be a male prostitute who services affluent clientele. Cunanan should be considered extremely dangerous and armed at this time. Cunanan, who also goes by Andrew De Silva, has made the FBI's most wanted list, and now reports say that Cunanan and Versace may have been acquainted. Those that knew him uh, are frightened because he seems now to have totally uh, flipped out. Andrew is really Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because I would never have, a, have believed that uh, he would have been ca uh, capable of doing what he did. This acquaintance of Andrew Cunanan, who asked us to conceal his identity, described him as articulate and flamboyant. Authorities say Cunanan's crime spree began in Minneapolis, where the Southern California native is the prime suspect in the murder of Jeffrey Trail, beaten to death with a claw hammer. Four days later, police discovered the body of Cunanan's former lover, David Madsen, not far away. Cunanan has been charged with this murder. He is a serial killer by the very virtue of his uh, numbers of victims, over four at this point, now five. Uh, at the same time, the uh, complexities that go into Cunanan's uh, personality are such that uh, he is really what we call a spree killer. Police say that spree next led to Chicago and the torture murder of real estate mogul Lee Miglin. Then, on May 9th, Miglin's car was found at the site of a New Jersey cemetery where caretaker William Reese was found shot to death. Tuesday morning, police tied Cunanan in with Versace's murder when they found the red pickup truck that belonged to the dead caretaker. Stolen South Carolina license plates were on the truck. It was owned by Franklin I'm, Watts' I'm daughter. Kind of feel like that the tags were stolen on a shopping day or school day or some way from home. And inside the truck, police found clothes and even headline articles about Cunanan himself. He's just rampaging across the country. Robert Bressler, a former FBI agent and an expert on the behavior of serial killers, theorizes on why Cunanan could have killed Versace. Either he had a connection with Versace, and he could have had a connection based on the flamboyant uh, uh, personality that he portrayed, or Versace could merely be a symbolic victim, symbolic of the success, the fame, the wealth. The possible connection between fashion giant Johnny Versace and Andrew Cunanan came out Wednesday when Maureen Orth, a writer for Vanity Fair magazine, reported that the two had met backstage at the San Francisco Opera some years ago. Orth said that she did not believe that the two were intimate. At Twist, a gay nightclub in South Beach, the manager remembers seeing Cunanan. But he was a normal-looking guy, so normal. That's the scariest part of it all. And that may be why the FBI hasn't been able to catch the suspected killer. Nicole Ramirez-Murray, a columnist for the Gay and Lesbian Times in San Diego, knew Cunanan and followed his jet-set lifestyle. He was a, a gigolo. He was definitely an American gay gigolo. And he had a gentleman that took care of him. He wanted attention. Um, I would say that he could light up a room with a smile. Now Ramirez Murray is in fear like so many others. I've been very concerned, as other people have been concerned, of his return to San Diego, so I had an iron gate put on my door. The Versace thing is putting him in a new direction, and I think that direction is headlines. The direction is, I'm going to go down with the biggest headlines I can. Just where Cunanan is now headed is anyone's guess. So far, he's outwitted authorities. Andrew wanted people to pay attention to him, and now I think the whole country is paying attention to Andrew. With his death, Andrew Cunanan gives birth to an unsolvable mystery. Did he kill five men? And more importantly, why? Cunanan did not leave behind a suicide note, so police are left with only pieces of the puzzle. But what is becoming more clear is how the suspected serial killer spent the final days of his life. Meanwhile, police are now certain that Cunanan's suicide gun was the same 40 caliber handgun used to kill Johnny Versace and two other men. Police found other evidence at the scene of Cunanan's suicide. A small safe was carried from the area. 
Neighbors around the houseboat continue to report contact with the suspected killer in the days after Versace's murder. Cunanan apparently walked openly around the area. Witnesses reported seeing him suntanning and shopping. And I saw a guy sitting in this bunch, reading a book. I went to my boat, like this, and say hi, and he didn't say anything. Photographer Guillermo Volpe says someone broke into his sailboat right near the houseboat where Cunanan was caught. Volpe shot this home video inside his sailboat just after the intruder, now believed to be Cunanan, left. I discovered that, you know, all the scene that was in, in the floor is over there. And this bed, he, he used this bed to sleep. And I found a uh, two Wednesday newspaper, uh, one from Italy and the other one from Miami, the Miami Herald. When I saw the newspaper, you know, and everything, I saw, wow, maybe it's, it's Kunan. We went to, to the police station and tell the, the history, but they didn't do anything. The FBI has interviewed the owner of the houseboat, Thurston Reineck, but hasn't disclosed the results of that interview. If we find that somebody has been harboring him, we'll proceed against him federally, I'll tell you that. And new reports claim that within 48 hours of Versace's murder, Cunanan contacted an associate trying to get a fake passport. Another report says Cunanan was deeply in debt, owing more than $40,000 to credit card companies and creditors. Cunanan's body remains in custody, but it will soon be turned over to his family. He will be buried near his mother's home in California, taking to the grave many secrets that will never be answered.